Welcome, I'm Alex from Suji, and today I'm gonna to walk you through setting up a session on your Generation One device. We're gonna start by unzipping the EVA carry case, which is what we recommend you store and travel with your Suji in. To begin, we're gonna take out a compression garment, part of the compression garment set that would have arrived with your Suji device. Depending on the order configuration, you may have received multiple sets, and you can tell the difference between sizes as it is denoted on the front of the large Velcro strap. So this is a lower limb cuff, and we're gonna start by fastening it to the topmost portion of the limb. So I'm gonna put one foot forward, take the compression garment around the topmost portion of the limb, securing it in place with the large Velcro strip. There are two smaller Velcro attachments that when pulled together, ensure alignment between the compression garment, and we need to make sure it stays clear of the black valve. Now, taking my pneumatic compression device out of the EVA case, I can turn this on with a single on-off operation button at the top. It charges just like your cell phone, and as standard, comes with the single hose attachment fastened to the device. To connect this to the compression garment is really rather simple. Take the valve, align it with the valve inlet on the compression garment, and press up, hearing an audible click, ensuring there is sound connection. The compression garment is now ready to inflate. And to do so, I'm gonna turn it on with the on-off button on the device, and you'll see a flashing green LED appear. On the Suji app, I can now search the device, connect, and follow the on-screen instruction to either complete setup, calibrate, or complete my recommended Suji session. When I'm ready to exercise as told in the Suji app, I can disconnect the air hose by simply pinching the valve at the top, pulling it upwards to achieve a quick release where the air hose will simply fall away. With the compression cuff remaining inflated, I'm now free to do my exercise and completely cable free. Of course, if I wanted to exercise both limbs simultaneously, I could attach and fasten both compression garments to the topmost portion of the limb in exactly the same way, using the large Velcro strip to fasten it on the limb and using the smaller alignment Velcro to ensure overlap, keeping clear at the black valve. If I want to control two compression garments simultaneously, well, I can take and remove the single hose attachment and from the EVA case, you'll have seen your generation one device will have arrived with a splitter hose. Now, you can see that this has a single inlet and two outlets. And quite simply, I can just press this back onto the device, visually ensuring overlap to ensure an airtight connection. In exactly the same way, I'm gonna take the valve, align it with the inlet, and press up, hearing an audible click, and doing the exact same on the second compression garment. In exactly the same way, I can turn the device on, connect to the Suji mobile app, and complete my onboarding or my recommended Suji session. Please be aware that when you're using the splitter, you need to disconnect both cuffs simultaneously. Taking in exactly the same fashion, the topmost port pinching the topmost portion of the valve, pulling up to see an automatic disconnect. If you only disconnect one hose, the other compression garment will deflate. So with the splitter, you need to ensure you're disconnecting both simultaneously. And again, I'm now cable free to complete my exercise session. To deflate the compression garments after exercise, I have a couple of options. The first one, if the device is still on and connected to the mobile app, is to connect back to the cuffs and press deflate on the mobile app and wait for the air to rush out. A quicker way to deflate the cuffs is to simply turn the device off and connect it back to the compression garments. And without interfacing with the app at all, the compression garments will deflate. Once I've completed my session, again, pinching the top of the valve and pulling up, I can disconnect the air hoses. I can simply store my pneumatic compression device back in the EVA case removing the compression garments by unfastening the Velcro strap and rolling it up before storing it away. 
If I want to clean my Suji equipment between use, quite simply, I can grab any standard antibacterial wipe and a dry cloth, wiping it down between use and drying it off, both for the compression garments or the device, being mindful that when cleaning the device, not to uh, take a wet wipe anywhere too close to the charging inlet. Of course, if I want to store the secondary uh, air hose, I can simply place that on top and close up my EVA case. Ready 